Whew. We have some things to talk about today. Yes, right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Hey, before we get started with the video, you already know the vibes. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's get it over 300 likes. All right. We have some dope, a couple of dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. And the first one. It looks like the Switch is getting another big AAA game. This one, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, has been all but confirmed for the Nintendo Switch. This is coming from GamingBolt.com. Bandai Namco, Latin America's official. So this isn't like a leak or hearsay. This is from their official Instagram. Their um, Instagram page recently uploaded a trailer for the upcoming Trunks, the Warrior of Hope DLC. And it was noted and spotted by Nintendo Leaks on Twitter that the trailer mentions the Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X, and S versions of the game. And what was telling and big is, it hasn't been officially announced yet, the game for the Nintendo Switch or the Xbox Series S, X. And so, it's just a matter of time when the game will be announced. And the, this is one of the games that the art style will allow the game to be on par or have some parity between the Xbox and PlayStation versions of the game. Case in point, one of my favorite fighters this past generation was Dragon Ball Fighters. And I have the version on my, I have it on all three platforms on my Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. And the game runs the same on all platforms and looks virtually identical on all platforms because of the art style. And so Dragon Ball Kakarot will be coming. It's already been out on PlayStation, um, some platforms, but coming to the Switch soon, we're going to get an announcement. Man, I'll tell you this with Dragon Ball. I watched every episode of Dragon Ball all the way up to Tournament of Power. After the Tournament of Power, I just lost interest in the series, bro. I watched that whole, it was lit. I like, oh, what's gonna happen next? What team, what universe is gonna be eliminated next? Oh, boom, 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 boom. Um, universes were being eliminated. And then at the end, they just brought everyone back. Spoilers, but it's old, so it's an old spoiler. I was like, what was the point of all this? So I was like, man, it's pointless, bro. <laughs> Stop playing with my emotions, Dragon Ball. But uh, I didn't pick up Kakarot. I don't know if I'll pick it up. But I got to let y'all know what be going on in the entertainment business. Speaking of the uh, video game entertainment business, bro, Xbox, Bethesda had their event yesterday. And I'm very puzzled. I'm very confused. First, <coughs> I wasn't going to um, live stream it. I, I didn't feel like sitting through that. In the past, the Xbox events have been lackluster, to say the least. And so I said, I'm not going to watch it. I'll just get the main points, the headlines, um, and just talk about it in this video right now. And I wish I could tell y'all what in the world was in this presentation. I've been looking. I've been asking. Everyone's been telling me. Nothing. What did they announce? They did announce 20 Bethesda games will be available on Xbox Game Pass today. So we're getting a whole bunch of Bethesda games. Older games and pretty much all of them I don't care for. Except for Doom. Doom is the only Bethesda franchise I rock with. One dude told me 
they announced their E3 of a summer event. So they had an event to announce another event. Bruh! Only Xbox. Only Xbox. The big controversy has been with this Bethesda partnership. Will the Xbox exclusives from Bethesda be on other platforms? And even that, I couldn't quite get a clear answer. It seemed like they said some games will, some games won't. So, um, time will tell. And I tell you this, they could really have said, yes, all, all Xbox games will remain on Xbox platforms. And that could always change. If they do that, let's say the next Elder, or whatever the new big Elder Scrolls Bethesda game is, it tanks. The sales are not what they expected. You better believe they're going to put it on PlayStation or even the Switch Pro. I'm just saying, it's, at the end of the day, it's all about money and they could always change their stance and position. They could come out with a press release and be like, we originally wanted to um, treat our fans and keep them special and honor them for buying our consoles, but we've decided that it, it isn't right as a gaming platform to hold things back from, and they're gonna get make a very PR to say, we want PlayStation money too. So at the end of the day, we'll see what happens. The only company that I really feel will keep their exclusives on their platform solely. Nothing going to PC, nothing is Nintendo. I'm just saying, bro. Nintendo ain't never <laughs> putting Zelda on the PC. Who knows? Never say never. It could happen in three, four years from now. Hey, somebody just donated in the super chat while I was, the, the, my alerts have been going crazy. I'm gonna just turn that off while I'm, I'm recording this video. Cause this, it didn't work last night. And so now it's not, whatever. All right, next news item, Crash Bandicoot Quattro. Yeah, you know I was bilingual, bro. All right, the PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch versions of Crash Bandicoot 4 have been compared. The results are interesting. This is coming from NintendoLife.com and I think this was based off of a digital foundry analyst, but this, these are the results. The primary difference between docked and portable modes comes down to image quality, of course. Um, as far as um, performance on the Switch, the Switch version, I think is at, a, is at cut in half at 30 frames per second. Whereas the PS5 version of Rock Solid 60, I actually beat this game on my PS4 before the PS5 came out. The game came out in October, so that's what we did. All right, next news item. This one is big, bro. It looks like February NPD early results are coming in. And surprise, surprise, Nintendo once again will be the best selling hardware for the month of february this is coming from venturebeat.com shout out to the homie jeff grubb he's a cool dude this is what he's saying nintendo switch was the best selling hardware platform in both units and dollars in february very telling because we can say oh the switch sold more units because it's cheaper but the $500 PS5 made more money. Nope. Nintendo Switch both sold the most consoles and they raked in the most cash in February. And were the highest for any hardware platform in February month since the Nintendo Wii in February 2009. So this past February has been the best selling platform, hardware platform month since the Wii in 2009. And so the Switch continues to rise up the ranks of the best-selling consoles ever. I'm telling you, man, it's not a matter of if, but when the Switch breaks the PlayStation 2 record for best-selling console of all time. And so good thing to hear, Switch is still killing it. And this last news item has put a smile on my face. This is the Monster Hunter presentation. All right, this is the dude talking. But Monster Hunter Rise demo version 2 came out last night and I was so hyped. The game runs 
great on the Switch. Uh, for those of you that remember, the initial demo, if you tried to do online multiplayer, and if you had a lot of people on your friend list, it's some kind of glitch in the game where the game skipped frames real bad, and it was virtually unplayable in online multiplayer. That has since been fixed. The game runs great, and I can't wait for this game to launch. At the end of the month, March 26th, already have the game pre-ordered. Can't wait to play Monster Hunter Rise on the Switch. March is going to be a great month for the Switch. Apex Legends just came out. Um, Plant vs. Zombies comes out in a few days. And we got Monster Hunter to top off the month. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? My kids want to come in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I, I changed my thing. This is Ninja Turtles from yesterday. Oh, well, whatever. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. We out of here.